Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm finally going to show you my full 2021 reading journal. Like in 2020, I got my journal from Archie and Olive, but this time in the Zodiac edition with the silvery sprayed edges. First up, I just wrote my name there. I'm not the biggest fan of the lettering, but it's fine. As for my first spread, I once again drew this bookshelf where I wrote down every single book that I read in 2021. And I colored in the spine according to its format. So black stands for physical book, gray for audiobook, and then this bluish grayish tone for graphic novel. As you can see, my goal for 2021 was to read uh, 120 books originally. Um, as you can see, I didn't reach that goal just because I went into a lot of reading slumps, but I managed to read 78 books in the end, which I'm pretty pleased with. Here I wrote down my 2021 TBR, so 21 books to read in 2021. As you can see, I barely managed to read like 50% of it. So yeah, that's also the reason why I only chose 10 books for 2022. Also, this spread isn't really my favorite, but yeah. Now, this spread is for my reading stats. It's very detailed. Um, but I basically wrote down for each month how many books I read, how many of them were physical books, how many were audiobooks and graphic novels. I wrote down my average rating for that month, the amount of pages I read, and the amount of physical pages I read, and then the amount of pages on average per book, as well as how many books I bought that month, and my current state of my TBR and CSI, which stands for could start immediately, so that doesn't include any sequels. And then I did a total amount of whatever, if it was applicable, and then the average per month. I also like to keep track of all the series I'm currently reading. So yeah, these are all of the series that I'm currently in the middle of. And each heart next to that series stands for a book and whenever I finish a book in that series, I'm going to color that heart in. Here I wrote down my entire CSI stack, so the one that I just talked about in my reading stats. And yeah, whenever I finish a book from that stack, I color in um, the circle in black and should I unhole it I'm going to color that in in gray. Yes it's a lot of books I even had to use another page. Then I kept one page blank just in case I want to do something there. Um, didn't do that. Um, and here are my monthly spreads. So we're beginning with January, obviously. The monthly spreads stayed mostly the same for the entire year. I printed out a picture from Pinterest and wrote the name of the month on there. Used a couple of stickers and then I did my favorite book of the month spread where I also wrote down like my thoughts on the book and stuff. I then wrote down my TBR for that month and whenever I did my TBR game I also wrote down the prompt that I read this book for and on the other side I wrote down all the books I bought that month. Also whenever I read or unhaul a book from this whole spread I always go back and color the circle in, in black or grey. And then I have my books read spread where obviously I write down all of the books I read with the author and my reading. In February, I participated in Polarthon, so I based my spreads around that, but the setup stays mostly the same. 
Also, I did separate reading journal setup videos for every single one of these spreads that you're going to see in this video, so I'm going to link the playlist up above. In March, I went with a dark academia theme for my spreads, and I think it's one of my favorites from this entire journal. I did more layering, which I really enjoy, and yeah, used a lot of stickers that are really nice. Um, these are from my Daisy's Etsy shop. Um, yeah, most of my stickers are from her Etsy shop, by the way. Um, and the wash tape, most of it is from Paper Geek Co. For April, I went with a spring or Easter kind of theme, and this time all of my stickers are also from Paper Geek Co. I really, really love that shop. In May, I once again participated in the Asian Readathon, so I wanted to base my spreads around that. Last year, my spreads were more South Asian inspired, so this time I wanted to go with an East Asian kind of feel. Honestly, I'm not really happy with the way this turned out. I just don't think it's my style, but um, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Also, I got into a really big reading slump, so I only managed to read two books off of my TBR and only three books in total, which, yeah, was a really big decrease compared to the months before that. But for June, I decided to take things slowly and it got a little bit better. And especially my spreads, this is one of my favorites as well. It is Studio Ghibli themed. And yeah, I just really, really love the colors and the washi tape. It's just one of my favorites. I think for July, I think I did these spreads after July was already over. So I based um, the spreads off of Heartstopper Volume 4, which was my favorite book of that month. And yeah, I didn't buy any books that month, so I just stuck in this really cute art print that I got from an Etsy shop. I think it's called Tiny Own Creations. And yeah, I think it's really cute. This is also the first month where I decided to only do one page of books read because I was noticing that I wasn't really reading that much anyway, so yeah. In August, I think, I tried to match uh, my journal spread to the book cover of Malibu Rising, but I'm not sure if it's Malibu Rising or The House in the Cerulean Sea. But yeah, I tried to do some more layers again, um, like in March. Um, I don't think it turned out that well. I like my TBR page and my book of spread spread, um, but yeah, overall it's not my favorite spread of the year. And in September, I participated in the Magical Readathon, so I based my spreads around that. And as you can see, I had two favorite books of the month because I just couldn't decide. Um, but they're both Avatar comics, so I think it's fine. But yeah, G prepared so many materials for this readathon, so I just decided to use it in my journal.
and then for some reason i skipped three whole pages i'm not sure why but yeah in october i wanted to go with the halloween theme to be honest i'm not the biggest fan of halloween but i really like the aesthetic and yeah i think the journal turned out pretty cool also i used my faux memo printer to print out the headers Now, it's pretty unfortunate for November because it's actually one of my favorite spreads, once again. Um, I really, really like the castle theme and the colors and the washi tape I used for this, but I had a really bad reading month in November. Once again, I was in a pretty bad reading slump and I only managed to get to two audiobooks that were really, really short. And yeah, one of them was a reread, so it just really wasn't that good. And for December, I went with a slightly different layout. I really actually enjoy how I did this one. Um, and also really surprising was that Zodiac Academy was my favorite book of the month. I really did not expect this. But yeah, I went with a classic, cozy Christmas theme and I'm really liking how it turned out. December was a way better reading month compared to the months prior, but I chose to just completely ignore my TBR and mood read all throughout the month of December. Which honestly, I'm not mad about at all because I had some really, really enjoyable reads. And this is already it for my 2021 reading journal. Let me know which month was your favorite. I wish you all the best for the new year and hopefully we'll see each other in another video. Goodbye guys.